In FileMaker, there's always a variety of ways of doing things. You've seen me using various different ways to do some common things, such as going from browse mode to layout mode. Sometimes I choose the layout mode command from the view menu. Sometimes I click on the edit layout button at the lower right of the status toolbar. And occasionally I might choose layout from the mini mode menu along the bottom border of the window. But in fact, because I'm used to using FileMaker, when I'm working, I don't generally use any of those methods. But instead, I use the keyboard shortcut. With one hand on the mouse and another on the keyboard, things go at twice the speed. So I use the key combination Command-L or Control-L on Windows to go into layout mode, and the corresponding shortcut Command-B or Control-B on Windows to go back to browse mode. And that's just the start. FileMaker has keyboard shortcuts for most of the menu commands. And if you're going to be spending some time working with FileMaker, it'll be worth your while to memorize the shortcut key combinations for the actions you find yourself performing most frequently. You'll find keystroke reminders next to the menu names on the overhead menus. So that makes it pretty easy to learn them or to look them up if you've momentarily forgotten. One of the things you may find useful during data entry is that the insert menu includes commands to automatically add values such as the current date, the current time, or various other values to the active field. And of course, there are keyboard shortcuts for each of the insert actions, so you can speed up data entry still further. As well as invoking various menu commands from the keyboard, you can also perform most data entry and navigation actions from the keyboard. For example, you can use the keyboard arrow keys to scroll the window. The up arrow scrolls the window upwards, the down arrow downwards. Similarly, holding the control key while pressing the up or down arrows navigates between records. And when you've navigated to a record, pressing the tab key places the cursor into the first field, and pressing the tab key on the keyboard takes you forward through the various fields in the current record. Holding the shift key and pressing tab takes you through the fields in reverse order. And when a field with a field control, such as the radio buttons on the availability field, is active, you can then use the left and right arrows on the keyboard to select a different value and press the Shift key to select the active value. And of course, pressing the Enter key on the numeric keypad removes the cursor from the current field and commits the record. So most common data entry and navigation tasks can be performed and can be sped up quite a bit by keeping your hands on the keyboard and you'll find you rarely need to reach for the mouse for many common operations.